Somebody recently asked me if we grow monkey trees. Yes, we grow monkey trees. We have a lot of monkey trees. That's Araucaria aracana. Some people call them a Chilean pine. They're native to Chile and Argentina. And uh, they're very prickly. This is one of them. And unfortunately, it's growing underneath these big redwood trees. So it's been growing here for a long time. These are coast redwoods. There's two of them here, the blue one and the green one. My bad, putting it here many years ago when it was just a seedling. And uh, well, they're buddies, I guess. They've been growing together for so long. It's just that the redwoods grow so much faster and they're casting shade on this poor one, poor monkey tree. So um, they have never uh, produced cones yet. And they've been here a long time. And I know it takes 25 to 30 years before they produce cones. I was told this one, they've, I've had them since 1988. There's a much bigger one, Araucaria Aracana. Let me get into the jungle here. <clears throat> I've grown them from seed too. There's actually a guy on our island that grows a ton of them from seed. Let me get underneath here. So I love them. You either love them or hate them. I think they're super cool trees. And we'll look at the trunk. Let me put my glass on so I don't poke my eyes out. Very sharp. So deer don't eat them. They're extremely drought tolerant. You can see the branches on them. They're almost like kind of rope-like, but with these sharp pointy uh, leaves on them. And uh, fully cold hardy here, not a problem. And then I'm gonna show you another one here. <clears throat> Growing with some bamboo, where are we? And then we got some in the upper garden as well. There's one or two up there. There is actually, oh, maybe three. Right here, there's another, another Araucaria right there. So uh, that's what I like about them. They are so drought tolerant. They kind of thrive on neglect here, right? So um, you should try one in your own garden. Experiment with them in colder climates because they are, like I say, pretty cold hardy uh, trees. And uh, if you plant them in the middle of the lawn, you're probably going to suffer when they get big when you start to mow the lawn around them. So I put them off to the side. I don't have lawn, but these ones are growing in a garden off to the side. Wendy and I don't have any lawn, thank God. And this is what they look like growing in with palm trees and other mixed broadleaf evergreens. There's fatsia trees in here, lots of palms, southern magnolia, huge 30 foot laurel trees. Uh, that's viburnum rotatophyllum tree in here. And then this one here is Osmanthus uh, burke woodii. Pretty much everything's evergreen. So there you go. That's one of our many monkey puzzle trees here in our garden on Salt Spring Island. Thanks for watching there, folks. And by the way, you can get a if you get a male and a female, the female will produce these big cones on them. And in the cones, in the big round cannonball sized cones, there's uh, seeds which are actually edible. You can roast them like nuts, like roasting chestnuts. They're kind of like torpedo shaped, but uh, they have to be pollinated by a male that's nearby. Cheers to you.